Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one, the only, the Azim, and we are back with part two of this battle for Azeroth, Lord on the format. Uh, this game has been pretty awesome so far with <coughs> an extremely aggressive evil team who, by the way, I should have gone back here. Right now, uh, Dalaran is under assault by the evil team. The Cult of the Damned and the Shadow Council have joined forces to lay siege to Dalaran itself, and while there is the anti-undead aura, you can see Patchwork forcing his way into the gates themselves, and probably going to decide better of this here in a minute as soon as he's noticed and starts to take a lot of damage, which <coughs> he gets, alright, he gets rooted. A bit of a shame to waste that root, and, like, right now, because all that tells him is you're going to aim him. What you want to do is aim him and have the root ready for the minute that he starts to retreat. Because then you're already aiming and it's already a problem. Jesus, I do not know what happened there. I pressed backspace and it took me here. What? The, okay, so does backspace take you all the main capitals of the person that you're looking at? Or I, I don't know what's going on right there. That's really weird. But at the moment, it looks like our Lord Ron players managed to catch out of place at least one, if not several, of our Legion players, Dreadlords, one teleported away onto a fucking random cliff edge in the middle of nowhere. My guess is pretty close to Iron Forge. Yeah, that's Menethil Harbor. That's not, okay. Sorry, I saw the snow and I just I knew. Remember topography, guys. And right now, I think Dalaran's pretty okay. Dalaran's yeah, as I say, it's super hard to break. That leaves Lord on City having rebuffed its attack without ever having to use its improved cannon towers, so those remain as an effective force. Really, we have to see where Red Mist is off to. Not helping. Banana Farmer over here, stealing islands from people. Boralis now, um, once again, I think under the control of our Dark Green player. Yeah, so he'll be reaping the control point bonuses from that. <laughs> there we go. Richard Dick is now outside, and what they're going to need is Siege. Yeah, they're rebuilding that right now, I think. Or... Well, if they aren't, they should be. Because the only way to kill this army is to get big, 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 big Siege shots on these back units that are creating all this crap that you have to work your way through. And let's not forget that if the mages are smart, they have arcane defense crystals scattered around here that'll be... Zapping and slowing any enemies that try to get in there. Dalaran's a nightmare. I repeat, Dalaran is a nightmare. Is Medawana legal in California? It doesn't matter if it's legal in California. I live in Nevada. Um, Dalaran is siege. Oh yeah, I was voice chat with Sazones and others. <laughs> ah, that's... This Tychondrius is just fucking all over the place. He's so confused. What happened to my life? Deathrock now being summoned up. He's got the Skull of the Minari, which will summon Eridar Deceivers. He can summon... He's got three Ganarg workers shoved down the front of his pantaloons. And... Wow! Deathwing is going to be the one that finishes Iron Forge. Really? Cracker Snatcher? What do you have to? Where's Moira? She's still running around Iron Forge! Moira is a fucking boss! Look at this woman. Just like, ask who? Where are you going, Moira? You getting rooted? I think you getting rooted. Oh man, come on, Moira, get out! Get out of Iron Forge! There's no way. Look at that. Is Moira gonna actually escape Iron Forge? This no, Rend is gonna surely Rend. Oh, she uses workers to try to distract him, but Rend is slowly beating her to death. He does have a faster movement speed, but he's also got a bigger hitbox and couldn't run through those trees. Or he decided to back up. One of the two. It's a weird decision to stop when it was clearly gonna kill her eventually. Um. Bunch of yeah, fuck that Kappa. Julian <laughs> managing. Uh... Oh shit, Julian's doing something right now. Arthas Menethil. Oh fuck, Head Red, what did you do? Oh, he's lost the fight here. <gasps> Outside Skull amounts. The House of Barov has managed to rebuff our our, uh, our dark green player. But if Head Red loses Arthas Menethil and Lord Othmar Garethos, what happens to him? Now becomes my question. Red Mist, are you still? Like, you shouldn't have this. This should all be Julian's now, right? It's just the map is wrong? Okay. Julian now has control of what was once the Ranger Corps, which is now the Forsaken, who do not seem to be doing a whole lot right now. Um, rebuilding on small islands, taking over Boralis, actually taking it back from Dark Rain. So I guess doing something in the fight. I can't totally count him out. Uh, now Light Blue is going to have to try to rebuff the... 
the blue player because Jesus. Well, they have the army to do it. There's no way that the griefer, Zoom griefer, is going to try to move across the bridge with two human armies, one for each of these choke points, and uh, yeah, way better concave for them. Yeah, he's like, don't you have all these heals you just don't seem to be using? Deathwing continues. No, nope. Dark Horde finishes off Iron Thor, <laughs> Iron Forge, and Moira is probably going to go. What? Oh Jesus, she's being sh uh, chased by a proto Drake, shot by towers. This is. But she does manage to get the hammer fall. Which. Is that what it's called? Wouldn't it be called hammer fall after? It's no longer in Alliance hands because that's where Doom Hammer fell? I thought. But anyway. Uh, we need to figure out with it. Uh, Dalaran, Dalaran. Holy crap! And it looks like with the help of uh, our brown player. The Cult of the Damned, the Shadow Council, and the Dragon Maw have all now forced back the mages. Wow, this is actually really bad. They're going, he's already lost Jaina, and now Sazan's loses. Shit, fuck. Are you retarded? Wow, good to see Head Red also just being totally reasonable. The Alliance is falling apart right now. This is super good sign. Moira, what are you doing? Please be alive. Oh, fucking hell. The Proto Drake. Did she manage to chase one away? She got an Proto Drake, but I think the second one's gonna kill her. She's got a leap. No? Oh, she could make workers and build like towers or maybe a uh, shop. But yeah, Dalaran's kind of boned. Meanwhile, yep, this is smart by the Undead Force, even if it's just to keep them distracted to make sure that nobody's teleporting in. This is the only Alliance force other than Yellow, which is totally dead, who could try to even help Dalaran. I think Julian probably kind of fucked, right? In the Dalaran dungeons. Uh, must have lost most of his forces before running. You can see they're all damaged. He doesn't have too many left, but he did retreat before Dalaran, before his ally did. And that makes sense. Because this isn't his last chance, but it is purples. Uh, someone's saying Kazix collision size has been fixed. I hope that's accurate. Oh, nice. And Anderhal will rebuff the undead. But they just buy in time. That's all they need to do. They just gotta buy that time. So many human units, so many archers, so many footmen, so many little individual units to try to kill. And so much AoE and overall healing for the uh, alliance to use. Is what can distract. But you're like, well, shouldn't the undead be the swarming army? You would think. Julian <laughs> Richer Dick. And now with that we have a defeated Dalaran completely sacked. Alright. That's ugly, but I do like how the uh, floating rock showed up so it looks just like it does in a while. Nice little touch there. And for now, we have a Forsaken player with only four control points who still isn't doing shit! Still must be trying to figure... Oh, no, he's killing off red stuff. Or he's sorry, he's killing off dwarven stuff. Which is sad. Moira taking control points because she's a baller. She doesn't stop for anything. <clears throat> Mage generators and prey? I mean, that's pretty much all... Yeah, this is gonna... This is not good. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Our warriors have engaged the enemy. Where is that in this version? I'm trying to find the dollar on oh the dollar on dungeons are here. He so he does have quite a few towers down here. It's actually still like a defensible position that he could have slowly fallen back Our from if he just hadn't Yeah, you lose Dalaran, but don't lose your force. In fact, you have a rune of greater healing back here for that beat up ass force to go use. It's kinda smart. More banana farming going on here for a Forsaken player. Or at least he's denying other people the right to be banana farmers. Zero three versus zero five. Oh nice! You guys ever want to see what ghouls versus footmen looks like? When the ghouls are stronger? Not stronger, but they have that uh, tearing like rend ability. I can't tell if they do, but nice Forsaken Archers there will start to turn enemy uh, dying enemy units into skeletons, I think, right? Hey, here comes the skeleton. Also has 500 health. That, yeah, see, and then just like that, just a few of those archers are going to completely turn how this battle would have turned out. 
Because not using a resource is stupid and dead bodies are a resource for undead armies. Next fight in, is in Anderhal. Sweet. I'm Our excited. There's gonna be a big fuck off force coming. So when's the betrayal, right? Because that has to happen. Everything sucks in life and the capital's almost dead. I mean, real quick, let's just go ahead and fog of war this. So everything in the game, except for this little chunk at the top, control is belongs to evil. This little force, and there's only two ways to really get in there. Um, unless there is, of course, this cut across. No, that's not in implemented yet. So there's only two ways to get up to the rest of that map. Three ways. First, we're going to talk about it, which is getting ships and landing. That's always an option, no matter where you are. The other two options are either through Anderhal or past Capital City. And that's it. And it looks like there is a force coming to Capital City. Dragonmaw Clan sending in at least scouts. Our warriors have engaged our and I wonder what Moira's play is going to be in this. Mm, she is moving a small, small force of units up north through enemy territory to potential devastation. Oh, nope. Maybe to flank just enough. <laughs> I don't know why the Silverhand's getting involved in this, but Siege Steam Tanks are trying their best to counter the Akaraji Sentinels, which for a group of... I mean, okay, I was trying to figure out, like, downsides. They have 1,100 health. It's a flying unit. But they are unarmored, so range does, like, just, been, just, just fuck them. No, I'm sorry. Normal? Normal? No. Siege? Jesus. Well, <laughs> okay. That's weird. Not a whole lot that does normal. Or siege to air. But okay, <laughs> that makes them very strong for what they are. Ah, and finally a demon army and orcish armies are going to start streaming up north. I don't know if Airy Peak will be defended at all. I mean, Moira might have flanked. Moira with a small flank here will distract. And I don't know why his allies didn't come out and help him there. Did they go two opposite directions or? Uh, yeah, I don't understand. Style should be saying what the fuck. He's like, where was my help? Where is everyone? Hedder must have gone to fight what? Uh, oh, they all decided the Dragon Maw were looking kind of scary and decided to go defend against it. And Light Blue's like, I'm kind of here. Yusuf, Dalaran has the choice to close the Dalaran dungeon portal. Interesting. Please nerf air. Yeah, I don't. I agree with you, Style. Not Akaraj Center. Yeah, no, I was talking about the Akiraj Sentinels. Akir Sentinels. Um, because they're not... I don't think they're technically undead. They might still be live... Nerubians. Because Nerubians were resistant to the undead curse in the first place. Which is why they had to be... Like, subjugated. It was so hard to subjugate them. I think that was part of the lore. Anyway, <laughs> chat will have to confirm or deny my claims. Oh, god damn it. The Dark Horde's just kind of moving around, killing off everything. You can see more dwarves are attempting to survive, but it's just mostly dwarven warriors and dwarven workers. Moira, she's she's doing damage. Nice gameplay, AFK, yeah. Uh, I don't, Light Blue seems upset. They're not AFK. That was not a battle in Anderhal. That was a, that was a wreckage. Did you mean outside of Andrew Hogg's Gad? We saw that one. 4v7. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough right now. Um, they should turn it to 4v4v3. Four four so I think it's still, in that case, it would be Brown... Let me start. I'm closing that quicksand. Started. Uh, it would be Brown, OJ, Teal, and Green still allied, and then it would be the uh, undead, which is Forsaken, Cult, and Undead. And it would be the Alliance, which is left, which I think kind of makes it cool and interesting, but a lot of people don't like to give up that strength. Mogor! Morg! <laughs> Morgor. Uh, getting healed there, but I don't know if it's going to matter if he gets that. Uh, he not get surrounded. A slight mistake there. Misstep manages to save that army. Ah, they turn around, they try to get Arthas, and they might. Arthas is going to die. Heal him! Why don't you use your holy light? Oh, he does use divine shield, thank god. Sorry, he's a really shit player. 
Like, I'm pretty sure these Lord Round Captains have Holy Light. And if not, like, Arthas should by level 8. Somebody should. Inhuman beast! <laughs> and FYI, this is really bad. Lord Round Capital now under assault by not only the undead, but soon to be probably. Well, we'll see. We're gonna see what they decide to do. Hopefully they will betray and make this very interesting and the Legion and everyone will start to get a little bit more frisky. Down south, the Forsaken have continued to expand, now taking over Gilmaeus, Redmus controlling most of the islands and this small bit of the land. Leaving that to Zoom though, and Zoom we should see where he's off to, because he's gonna be the next part of this. Why is he just sitting outside Dalaran? He looks like, is he still attempting to betray? I can't tell if people are. Is he going to become good undead? <laughs> that's a thing. Hey, if you have 600 gold, can I have some? That's a good question, Styles. Who the fuck has 600 gold? Well, Red Mist. I'm sorry, Lord Ron player. You should probably use some of that, you dick. Julian, how much are you sitting on? 82, not that much. But yeah, Lord Ron really needs to step up his game right now. Because while he's decent upgrades, 1-5. He's fighting 3-3. Three, three. And again, let's go ahead and appreciate that Professor Putricide model right there. Riding on the back of an abomination. Love it. Anywho, they can summon units. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something about technicalities of Warcraft 3. Making a unit in the editor can have multiple classifications. One of them is undead. Abilities like Death Pack check if the unit is classified as undead. So you can have a unit being undead while technically not being undead. That sucks. And all right, here it is where they really need to start the fight, which is in the actuality in Lordaeron Capital itself. We can see Phoenix is on the front line where we try to combat Frostworm's good fight against that. I mean, actually, they're both good counters to each other. Just there's a lot more ranged, reliable combat here coming out of um, our Lordaeron and Highborn players. Especially since he doesn't seem to be being supported by any of his allies. These just, like, I think they just said, just, oh, fuck, did it happen? I think it happened. I think, I think, oh, the betrayal occurred. Guys, all right, so, the Shadow Council has been trapped in the Dalaran Dungeons, now under assault by the Cult of the Damned, as the Cult of the Damned attempts to, to begin to betray their once allies. The uh, Lich King lays assault to the capital city. This is bananas. All right, where's everyone else? Because Richard Dick's got to, like, be part of this, right? Yeah, he's, he's going to be fighting a bit of the Forsaken, and the Forsaken might be attempting to reinforce... Oh, the Forsaken are part of the Cult of the Damned Army right now. At least Sylvanas is. Ooh, damn. And uh, there's some decent summons coming out. Ultimate Tory Fell Lords, as... Yeah, several Fell Lords, which are... What the... I'm sorry, who summoned, are those summoned by like Death Knights or, I'm gonna find out. Cause that's almost 3,000 hit points per unit right there and they don't seem to benefit on Holy Strength. Did he just not upgrade it? Piercing Magic. He doesn't seem to have upgraded his melee units. I can't confirm that, but his range seemed to all have three attack upgrades. Uh, none on his, but still that's 9,000 hit points just thrown onto the front line. That's gonna buy them some time here. While Zoom is starting to get a good concave, he has, yeah, he's managed to force his units around the edges there, really changing the line of the battle. And enabling more of his uh, reinforcements to stream in, unless they can be locked down, which it doesn't look like they can, unless Richard Dick manages to push his units in there. And his army is, yep, the Legion is now outside, oh, they've got to go faster, they're outside Dollar and they have to get into the dungeons. How goes the assault? Ah, rebuffed, capital city, and now the undead, the Lich King, for, ooh, shit. There is no way for him to escape out of Tirasol Monastery, a dead end here. I'm not sure Zoom Griefer knew that this was the way this map was <laughs> laid out in this version, because there is a version where there's a, there's a little pathway up through here. Those are connected. <clears throat> so he may have thought these boats were going to meet him in a different place. That's not going to go down. And Anubarak, well, he's not totally dead because he is acting as a conduit right now for all of the units that are being produced in Ajon Maru. Anything that gets summoned there or made there will go to him and he's quite powerful, but he does get stunned, focused down, uh, rooted. And now the fight is almost done here in the Dalaran Dungeons. It looks like Ultimate Troy has managed to escape into Outland, pursued, wow, shit. 
Grandmaster Vorpal and his Death Knights have escaped into Outland using the Dalaran portal, but they are going to continue to be pursued by the Cult of the Damned as well as the Forsaken Army. In the meantime, Richard Dick as... Ooh, not dead super... Where are you? He's not going to help his ally, but maybe Woos will. Woos one? Uh, Lord on the Aftermath has that connected one. Got it. Yeah, demons are not going to go into the Dalaran dungeons either. Instead, trusting that Vorpal and his allies will be able to hold Outland by himself, which is not a terrible assumption because he does control... He has a lot of stuff in Outland. The Shadow Council can hold Outland pretty reliably with just minimal support from his allies if he's using his Death Knights and everything correctly. Felraise moment. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Jesus, massive force of undead there. And I don't know if they intend to actually go in... A huge screening wall of ghouls. I think they're all summoned minions. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about the Forsaken. Sorry, the Cult of the Damned in this version. Is if you upgrade their summon spell enough. Instead of summoning skeletons, they will just summon a ghoul. A badass regular, like, gets all your stuff ghoul. And I think it's two ghouls at times. But you can see how many units that makes. Each one almost a thousand hit points. And if you're summoning 20, it's 20,000 hit points with these ghouls. If you just make almost 30. God, ah. Anyway, it's awesome. Let's get back to the fight. Because they are going to start to attempt to push through and... Ooh, Sylvanish. Sylvanish. Yeah, Shlade. Sylvanish teleporting backwards in an attempt to push the Legion... For... Ah, what the shit? You should have just hit Sylvanas a lot. She was really vulnerable and that's a terrible to give up. The... Okay. Well, now they're going to gain at least another avenue of attack here. Specifically on Maru, which is controlled. I'm hearing a lot of gold clinking off here. What happens if I go away from it? The undead are dead, right? Yeah, the undead got slaughtered. Turn that down real quick. And back to the fight! The Legion is now in the... <laughs> they see the army, they know what's up. I don't know how much Zoom intends to force his way into Outland, but it's a risky endeavor. Unless they can lock down Maru, which hopefully Ultimate Troy, I believe it's controlled, no, it's controlled by Wu's. Ah, Ultimate should be fighting on Maru, he's so good. If, like, Wu's even put a little bit of support behind that, which he could afford to do, eh, theoretically, a little bit. He, um, yeah. Oh, nice! And the Dark Horde and the Legion have joined forces to try to flank the undead legions that are now assaulting Outland. And if... Any attempt is made to hoard? I don't know. It's kind of a shame not to. Again, Green really should have brought his units here. Made some uh, workers, which at least one of his, two of his units can do. And reinforce from there. But he's going to turn around and start to fight again. Summoning Legion. Okay. All right. He's going to keep fighting. And his units, uh, his heroes include Blackheart, the Incinerator, Grandmaster Vorpal, and Terran Gorfine. Terran Gorfine able to cast a channel, I believe, that heals nearby enemy units. And that's got to be mostly summons, right? It's just summon crap summons. Yeah, he's throwing crap summons at him to just distract him while they kill Maru. Or uh, attempt to back out into Dalaran? I don't know. Oh, okay, the Legion and the Dark Horde have now thrown themselves into this conflict full on, streaming out of this portal. And this is going to be a mess to try to figure out what's going on right now. Uh, Zoom has the Flesh Golems on the front line, which is great. They are going to be pretty evenly matched against the Pit Lords that they'll be fighting. As far as upgrades go, it's 1-4 for both sides, attack, defense, respectively. However, Zoom has been focusing mostly on range, but 6-4. Uh, oh, nice, and a wonderful uh, silence there. In fact, dropped on the entirety of the reinforcing army. May kill off. Uh, I believe that was Red Mist using Sylvanas. And, oh my god! So many summons, there's so many units here, and Zoom has the perfect concave, able to just annihilate them. Uh, like I said, these armies evenly matched in, like, in open combat on a wider field would be great. However, right now, most of his units are bunched up at the portal entrance. You can see all of the siege being focused on that. You can see, just watch the bloody chunks fly through the air, all to the same place every time, right where that portal converges. And he knows that's where the most damage will be done, and he continues to focus on it. Ren standing still, Pit Lord's still alive. And if a flank from the Shadow Council continue, yes! Oh! A sick finger of death on one of those catapults. Will knock the meat wagon out of commission. Um, meanwhile, the Legion, using mirror images, will try to just distract and hold on. However, it looks like uh, Zoom absorbing the Legion. Okay. 
Interesting. He absorbed the Legion uh, mirror images with his destroyers. That's such a sick little move there. Making sure to constantly turn your enemies magic against them and they slaughter one army they slaughter two armies it looks like they may slaughter three and four armies here unless more have yeah a small group remains alive in the dalaran dungeons and again zoom is now besieged on three sides with no way of really reinforcing this army though so if they continue to chip away at it effectively and actually get rid of things that aren't just skeletal minions you can, again ghouls on the front line constantly all of these ghouls are summons <laughs> Thousands of hit points of ghouls continually being thrown on the front line there. They have to hack their way through, and if they kill a unit, it's going to summon two more. Evil doesn't know how to use dispels. Yeah, if they would just use some dispels, these ghouls would be pointless. That is a very good point. OP, please nerf. OP, OP, OP. Ah, uh, shit. What are Cracker Snatcher up to? Uh, he is... Oh, mm-hmm. Zerlian, are you in, like, a fight right now, or... Nope, still not a whole lot going on. Let's see if Zoom Griefer is oh, under assault. He still has units up at the Frozen Throne. Uh, the only hero left alive right now for him is Saffron and his contingent of Frostworms and flying units at the Frozen Throne. So now is our mage unit is... Oh, trying to hunt down Wooz. The Legion now actually under assault as they try to build units to reinforce what's going on in Outland. However, the Alliance will now stick their noses into the conflict and Zoom can't be portals and aiming bases. Fun. Fun. Wu has left the game. Uh, you still have Archimon. What? Legion just leaves the game? Okay, so he's not happy that things are now not going his way and he'd have to rally. See, this is where people, they get really conky and then they don't realize that just a strategic realigning of forces, like con condensing until your enemies are forced to interact with each other and you, and that's like, yeah, you're gonna have to accept that loss and try to figure out if you can make it up elsewhere. It's, it's hard even for me to remember at the moment, trust me. Uh, and the Legion units will just die there, unused. The Shadow Council will probably try to continue fighting. Ultimate Tori, come on. Ultimate Troy! Ultimate Troy! Meanwhile, Alliance is taking back Lordaeron. Yeah, you're right, Style. Sanaz, Julie, and I are upgraded. Nothing. Yeah, you guys didn't do a whole lot. It's okay. Uh, Brown's not. Yeah, why the fuck is Brown? Richard Dick did not just did not join this conflict. He has a nothing. He has a scroll of healing, and some units still deep in Azeroth, with no attempt. It appears with almost two thousand gold. He's doing nothing while his allies are getting wrecked. It's that kind of shit when you see it. Like I get angry. I get angry. It shouldn't make me that angry, and it does. Our Zoom, let's see how you're faring against the guys who aren't here. He's been AFK for a while. Maybe that's what they meant. Alright, and again, the undead are doing a wonderful job right now. Saffron has joined the undead forces that were in Outland, and they're hoping that if they can just lock that shit down, then they can fight the Alliance later on. If they can take out that evil, then Alliance doesn't stand a chance. It's the other evil potentials that really are gonna fuck them up. And Grandmaster Volvo's getting a lot of healing and a lot of support here, while he's being completely aimed by this uh, undead air force that's going, hey, and the Nether Dragons show up just in time to get riggedy riggedy wrecked by Frostworm uh, magic air damage. That is unfortunate. And continuing to run away because air sucks. They're all cursed, thank God. <laughs> He's still trying to aim, even though most of his units are slowed. And it's gonna work, because that zoom just has to kill the units off while blue aims and forces the enemy heroes away. Ew! And look at the big screening group of undispelled ghouls. It's insane. And they last, again, so long. It's like two minutes. <laughs> oh, it's a never-ending undead army. Call of the Forsaken, Call of the Damned really does a great job with the mass in this. It feels good. And they're doing a great job with the mass right now, forcing back the Legion armies. And back through Bladespire Mountains, the undead forces are going to continue to push back. The Shadow Council, uh, no sign of slowing down. The Alliance is going to have to attack the undead. They're going to have to, like actually do something here in a fucking minute or two 
the highborn especially of all this money and Julian's not doing a whole lot he's uh, alright he's engaged briefly with the dark horde who are kind of fucked oh no Maggie no Maggie he's gonna get caught and surrounded in fact hey hey don't lose Maggie he's a big he's 4500 health again not easy to kill and with summons here by Ren 4,000 health in front of that. More uh, siege flowing in there. Um, don't give up. Don't give up, guys. Shadow Council, you still have other options in the game. Trust me. And it look Wow. Hey, hey, turning back. Dark Horde, wherever he goes really should be where things act... Where shit gets done. Unfortunately, he wasn't in Outland. Or he can't get there soon enough. Yeah, Twilight's Hammer Cult has emerged in the south. Their suicidal pursuit to destroy Azeroth have allied the great and powerful Old Gods. Their agents have spread across the southern highlands, and their leader Cho'Gold has built a twisted citadel from which he plots the world's end. I believe that means Richard Dick is now on his own, right? Yeah! He's, uh... He's on his own! Okay. So, I think... I don't know who he's gonna ally after this. Um... Or what I'm going to break with my feetsies moving around down there. So what's that? We're under attack. <laughs> okay, so just so we know, Colt. Yeah. Our town is under attack. Twilight's Hammer. It's like, it's a cult. Twilight's Hammer cult uh, is now in the south all by themselves. They are now a potential danger, Twilight's Clan. The undead? Come on. What are you going to do, Zoom? Oh, you're gonna go into Outland, you're gonna go into the Legion itself and murder, fuck, okay. Yeah, he's gonna kill Archimonde. Nice, that's one way to do it, for sure. Dark Horde now going to start splintering, he's, yeah, he's gonna be on the... Oh shit, he almost gets flanked, jeez. His forces actually do get flanked there by uh, Light's Silver Hand. And right now forced back, Mag Theridon only alive with Proto Drakes? Hero Squad, Siege. That's all he has, and he's trying to figure out which force is actually going to be easier to break, and I think he's decided... Oh, fuck. He's being forced back. He's being forced back. He's going to let these two forces actually join each other, and that's what you didn't want to happen. He could have ran by or killed off either of them. Maybe he's hoping a single uh, front will actually be advantageous to him. Unfortunately, with the Silver and Pout on the front line, they're very survivable. Um... Ooh, but Rand and Kargath now, right in the middle of those armies. It looks like he might be trying to sneak on by. Mac Theridan's collision box, suspiciously small, as he weaves his way through those archers. Excuse me, excuse me, I know you're inside me, you're inside me, you're inside me too. People call me a slut, but really I just, I enjoy combat, and it's easier when like three or four of you are inside me. It's, I don't, don't make it weird. I'm making it weird. We don't need two people doing that. Um... <laughs> Nice, Rand getting focused down, but Rand is a beefy boy with almost 32 armor. Jesus, 66% reduction there. Uh, all these units, Warchief Aura, Command Aura, Ethereal Minions, Resistant Aura, like, everything here is so strong. Uh, Mac Theridan having like the least armor out of everyone, which is weird. And he's gonna run. All right, but he didn't die. He didn't completely die, and he still has plenty of money. And maybe he can ally the General Erudax has been summoned now, level 10, 2,000 hit points, along with Cho'Gall, 2,000 hit points, Necrosh, Skull Crusher, level 2, Dragon Ball, just hanging out, just fucking over here, Menethil Harbor, by himself, remember in the good old days. Oh my god, and it looks like Ultimate Troy has now become his own unit. He's gotten the gas, the Argus Wake Warlock, is that gonna stay for long? Prince of Altrak is now, oh wow, suddenly... All up on the islands. Okay, may decide to try to take back the islands from our Forsaken player here using uh, Aided and Proudmoor and Lord Falconcrest also located here at Durnhold Keep. <coughs> so he has three seats of power from which he can choose. Uh, Altrak being one of them. Where, weirdly enough, a fucking permanently invisible warlock exists. It's good. It's good storytelling. Um, we need to get back to where, probably Zoom, probably where the, oh, he teleported to the islands. He wants to be annoying too. He wants to kill off this Altrac player. But the Dark Horde is more important. 
He has Rend. Uh, Terran now as well. We gotta remember that. Vorpal is controlled by Wooz, who's not here. Wooz has the Death Knights, which is annoying. I guess they get split up that way after Green leaves to become Altrek. And they're somewhere. They're floating. They're, uh, it's Akendun. Okay. Akendun being right about here. But the undead are not done, and they are still coming for our command. I don't know if there's been any attempt to reinforce. There's a thousand gold on that, and there's no reason to not, like, oh, Jesus, the Forsaken have set up the base that's going to assault this. Okay. Interesting. Zoom. Where the hell are you, bro, and why the hell are you there? I get the Althrak angle. Is he trying to kill him off before he can join the Alliance, knowing the Alliance will be super strong? But... Right now, we're not going to know, because as the Cult of the Dam begins to assault Altarak on the islands, as the Forsaken begin their assault on Archimond in the Void, as Hey Hey begins his assault on Airy Peak, that is going to be part three, guys. Thank you for joining me for part two of Battles for Azeroth. I'm looking forward, Aiden, uh, Paranold, sorry, not proud more. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see you in part three. Thank you for joining me. This has been the one, the only, the Azathen with Lorder on the Formath. Please check it out on Briganshaven.com. Download it from um, EpicWar.com. Check it out on Warclave, DiplomUnion.com, uh, HiveWorkshop.com. These are all Warcraft 3 resources. Check them out, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.